the highway. A roadway being born. A miracle of construction across the soggy marshes of southern Louisiana. One solid link to the four-lane highway that reaches across the nation. Such thoroughfares built against great odds are no new problem to the road builders of Louisiana. These are difficulties faced daily by the engineers in the southern part of the state. Other areas of Louisiana have other problems. In the north are piney uplands. Low rolling hills of red clay with their own special difficulties in highway construction. Along the Red River in central Louisiana, and on the prairies of the southwest, highway obstacles have been met. Including everywhere, the crossing of waterways. Streams that are also roadways for marine traffic. Covering Louisiana are some 5,000 miles of navigable waterways. Waterways that challenge the efforts of the highway department. Louisiana is guardian of the Mississippi River. The entire stream empties from within its boundaries into the Gulf of Mexico. The river and its branches have laced the state with a network of streams. Across these streams are more than 5,200 bridges. Bridges of all kinds and sizes. From low trestles across lazy bayous, to steel skyscrapers above major streams. Many of them built to make way for shipping. are constantly being built to replace earlier structures or to eliminate a ferry or to connect new superhighways to fill the ever-increasing traffic. But construction and care of hundreds of bridges is only one problem with the Louisiana Highway Department. Along the Gulf Coast, the rivers have built up some 8,000 square miles of low, sodden marshland. There are swamps that stretch inland up to 100 miles in places. Building a roadway across this watery wilderness is a man-sized job. Even surveying for a road in southern Louisiana is forbidding. Men and equipment must slog through ooze. Bits of plants and weeds. Liquid mud. Not much of a base for a highway. But Louisiana road builders have conquered the mire. They move in new dry material as a fill and set a solid base for a stable road bed. Recently, new magic was added to their modern engineering method, the sand slinger. The first time ever used in highway construction. Borrowed from the sugar industry of Louisiana, the machine was put to new use by an imaginative contractor. It flings a stable embankment across the marshes. A new four-lane link, the old Spanish Trail. To build this road, first the marsh muck was dredged out six feet deep and piled to one side, leaving a 90-foot channel, bed of the future highway. During construction, it was used to move men and machinery. To fill in the new roadbed in this channel, suitable material was selected by the highway's testing and research section. 
field samples were taken. In the testing lab, they were checked. From the various tests, appropriate new fill was approved. Sand to be taken from under the Mississippi River, 30 miles from the job. Far out in the river sits the dredge. The big inch suction pipe is dropped into the swirling water. It plunges to the bottom to dredge sand from the river bed. Diesel engines pump the sandy water through a 22 inch pipeline strung on pontoons above the muddy river. It passes through a booster pump and mighty engines move the sandy load on its way. The pipeline follows close to the river's edge. It plunges over the steep levee. It swings across a field and under a highway. And a mile and a half away, it discharges in a sandy waterfall. plays into a stockpile, into one of three vast sand pits. When one storage pit is filled, big valves divert the flow into another pipeline and channels a manufactured waterfall into a new area. The filled pit drains for several days and the sand settles. Mud and silt are carried on below to a huge catch basin where they are deposited to build new land. While one pit is being drained and another is being filled, the third is being emptied of clean sand. Front end loaders move the moist mass. Their buckets scoop the material from the deposit. A few such bites by one of these monsters would fill a room. They jump into a hopper. The material drops onto a conveyor belt. They move to barges on a canal. Round the clock, the sand pours onto these block-long vessels. Each one holds a house full of sand, up to 900 cubic yards of it. Tugs move the loaded barges to the job. They push a string of freeze barges each through the marshes, on natural waterways that have been joined by canals into a thoroughfare. For 30 miles they push across lakes, pass through bayous and maneuver into a narrow stream. After 12 grueling hours, they reach the sand sink. The tons of sand are moved in beside another barge. A converted landing craft, legacy of World War II. Cleared of all wartime rigging, is now fitted with a crane buckled to the deck. A 60-foot boom swings a big bucket into the sand. It lifts a whopping load into a receiving hopper. From the bin, the sand drops down onto a conveyor belt. The curved belt travels 90 feet up to the sand swing. Here, the sand falls onto a continuous short belt, running around two coasts. Whirling at half a mile a minute, it throws out a jet of sand. Controlled by an operator above, the slinger can be directed like a giant fire hose to any spot. The stream spreads 600 cubic yards of sand an hour across the nose of the embankment. Bulldozers break down and spread the mound. 
it is compacted by a 50-ton roller. More sand is pressed in six-inch layers. All the while, highway engineers check and test. They measure and inspect to keep the quality up to specification. More sand is added, and the fill is spread and compacted to a safe five feet above marsh level. Added to the six-foot fill below, there is now a bed of sand 11 feet deep. The shoulders are blanketed by marsh material to guard against erosion. It is broken down and spread by bulldozers. Clam shells from the nearby Gulf of Mexico are spread over the roadbed and shoulders. They are rolled and compacted and topped by a layer of hot mixed asphalt, three and a half inches thick. And the miracle is finished. A smooth roadway resting on a stable foundation of 11 feet of sand, floating on a sea of marsh muck is a modern thoroughfare. Stretched across the wetland, miles over marshes.